Um, let's continue. Um, the visibility criteria for number four. And this criteria is um, last two digits digits are zeros or form a number a number divisible by four so we look we, for example we have a number we have to look just at the last two digits last two digits of our number and if this last two digits are zeros or the last two digits for example two and nine uh, form a, a number 29 for example if this number is four and eight it forms a number 48 and if this formed number is divisible by four our initial number will be divisible by four Let's begin uh, with examples and then we will prove the result. Examples. Um, first example is 8264. Um, is this number divisible by 4? Um, the answer is yes because 64 is divisible is divisible by 4 and that's why um, let me write just yes so our big number 8264 is divisible by 4 because 64 is divisible by 4. Another example is number 1352 is divisible by 4. Yes, because number 52 is divisible by 4. And if we divide 52 by 4, it will be 13. That's why answer is also yes another example um, because look at result we have last two digits are zeros or form a number divisible by four let's assume an example where last two digits are zeros so 27,000 Oh no, 272,800 is divisible by 4 because, sorry, is divisible by 4 because um, it has two zeros as last digits. That's why an answer is yes. And the last example, fourth example, is number, big number, 272814, 272,814 is not divisible by 4 because 14 is not divisible by 4. So an answer is no. Next let's prove this result. Begin our empty triangle. 
uh, assume we have a number a b c d a b c d of course it can be a bigger number it can be a b c d e f g and so on but assume for simplicity we have four digits number and let's write um, powers of 10 for easily writing uh, decimal representation for this number 0 1 2 3 if you don't know decimal representation look at uh, our previous uh, tutorial i'm trying to give uh, information in a such way that um, everything which is used now uh, is explained before i'm trying to do it let's see how it will be so let's write decimal representation it will be a times 1000 plus b times 100 plus c times 10 plus d times 1 and um, we have a divisibility by 4 of course this element of our sum is divisible by 4 so we put yes this v means yes this also divisible by 4 let's just put v this also divisible by 4 and um, look at this c times 10 plus d times 1 obviously this is the definition of the number cd where c and d are digits and it has decimal representation of c times 10 plus d times 1 um, let's rewrite it for better explanation c d is equal to c times 10 to the power 1 plus d to the power 0 or c times 10 plus d times 1 and we have here here this number so if um, the number formed by last two digits is divisible by 4 or in other words if this number is divisible by 4 our pre initial number is divisible by 4 and it is the proof of our result so we just take last two digits and look at number um, which is um, generated which is formed by these two digits and if this number is divisible by four or c and d are equal to zeros of course they this part will disappear and our number will be divisible by four because uh, this is divisible by four and this also divisible by four so it's obvious um, let's go further um, divisibility criteria for number five and it's if last digit is five or zero it's actually quite obvious but anyway um, we will try to prove uh, our result to be uh, rigorous uh, examples examples 6820 is divisible by 5 because last digit is 0 
it must be 0 or 5. Um, 7115 is divisible by 0. Is divisible by 5, sorry. Um, we cannot divide by 0. Um, never do it. Mm. Last digit is 5, that's why this number is divisible by 5. Third example, 8146 mm, is not divisible by 5 because last digit is 6 and 6 is not equal to 5 and 0 and that's why our number is not divisible by 5. Let's prove this result. Let's prove this result and uh, assume we have a number A, B, C, D. Let's write its powers of 10 for better writing our decimal representation. It's A times 1000 plus B times 100 plus C times 10 plus D times 1. And uh, any what this um, element of our sum is divisible by 5 because 1000 is divisible by 5 100 is divisible by 5 that's why this element b times 100 is also divisible by 5 c times 10 is also divisible by 5 and everything depends on this d is d equal to to 5 or d equal to 0. If d is equal to 5, then every element of our sum is divisible by 5 and our resulting number, initial number, is divisible by 5. If d is 0, then this element will disappear. This element, last element, will disappear. And uh, which in, in this case, uh, also obviously, an element is divisible by 5, and everything is divisible by 5, and our initial number. So, um, this result actually is also obvious, so it's quite easy to understand. Like us and subscribe to see new videos on OpenMathCamp.